Burkina Faso has immediately suspended all foreign media outlets in the country. As the military is carrying out an extensive battle against violent ISIS-linked rebels in the country, the suspension of these media outlets by Burkina Faso's junta has, as you would expect, sparked criticism from Western countries. Deutsche Welle, DW's managing director of programming, Nadja Scholz, emphasized the importance of independent information and expressed dismay over the deprivation of this right for the people of Burkina Faso. DW also provided alternative methods for accessing its content, such as through the use of VPNs. But this statement has been debunked by Burkina Faso's communication minister, Rintabajin Emmanuel Odrago, who dismissed Scholz's and Human Rights Watch's allegations of a massacre as baseless and accused the media of orchestrating a campaign to discredit the country's armed forces. He went on to say the accusations reflect an agenda aimed at undermining Burkina Faso's military efforts in removing violent ISIS-linked groups from the country. Human Rights Watch's report detailed accounts from survivors, including a woman from Soro, who recounted how soldiers accused villagers of colluding with ISIS before opening fire. But this incident just exemplifies the security challenges facing Burkina Faso as it grapples with armed insurgencies linked to ISIS and contends with allegations of human rights abuses by its own military forces. The international community's call for a thorough investigation into the reported massacre is, as Odrago said, a massive effort to undermine the Burkinabe military effort. Burkina Faso, which has experienced two coups since 2022, continues to face instability and insecurity, exacerbated by the presence of armed insurgent groups and allegations of state-sponsored violence by Western countries. The junta's decision to expand censorship to include additional media outlets has drawn condemnation from international organizations and media entities alike. By suspending broadcasts from TV5 Monde and blocking access to websites such as Dido, Le Monde, and The Guardian, the junta has further restricted access to independent information and stifled freedom of expression in Burkina Faso. But of course, notwithstanding, the actions taken by the junta to silence independent media outlets raise serious concerns about press freedom and transparency in Burkina Faso. By censoring critical voices and restricting access to information, the junta undermines democratic principles and hampers efforts to hold those in power accountable for their actions. The international community has called on the junta to respect freedom of expression and uphold the rights of journalists to report freely and without fear of reprisal. Burkina Faso's junta adamantly denied the accusations outlined in Human Rights Watch's report, dismissing them as baseless and part of a deliberate effort to undermine the country's armed forces. Human Rights Watch's report detailed the alleged incidents in Nandan and Soro, where a total of 223 individuals, including 56 children, were reported to have been killed. The organization conducted interviews with 23 individuals, including eyewitnesses to the killings, to compile its findings. Witnesses recounted how soldiers arrived in both villages, accusing the residents of collaborating with armed insurgents in an attack on a nearby military base. The discrepancies between Human Rights Watch's report and the Junta's official stance just show that the West truly has an agenda to dehumanize the Burkina Faso military. While Human Rights Watch's investigation pointed to systematic human rights abuses by the military, including summary executions, the government has vehemently denied any wrongdoing. Eyewitnesses of the attack said the military came for ISIS-linked rebels and not civilians. Burkina Faso has been dealing with armed insurgents linked to ISIS for several years in the aftermath of the two coups since 2022, and the takeover of the military has yet to definitely stem the insecurity issues. Last June, Human Rights Watch has published a report stating that state armed forces were guilty of human rights abuses, including summary executions. It also stated in January that the military is guilty of indiscriminate drum strikes that have resulted in civilian casualties. While Odrago said that killings in Nandan and Soro led to the opening of a legal inquiry, there's no express admission that civilians were massacred by Burkinib soldiers by the government. The situation at hand is simple from a facts point of view, 
The West simply wants to keep Burkina Faso as a puppet country, while the military has already understood this and will not continue to let Western media dehumanize them for trying to solve a security problem that has been destroying the country for years. It's clear that the West has an obvious double standard here, and the banning of these outlets is Burkina Faso's military's first step into taking the country back into their own hands. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss another video from us. See you in the next one.